Hi, welcome back to another video. If you haven't seen any of our previous videos, we had a pretty major house fire and we lost pretty much everything. I will leave descriptions below for those. If you have seen our other videos, maybe you've seen our planned video. We have a small garage at the rental we're at now, which has a surprise in it. I'll show in another video. In the planned video, I mentioned I have a surprise in the garage. I bought a CNC plasma table. As you may have seen in previous videos, I had the Langmuir Crossfire, which is the two by two. This time, I went with the big boy. I bought the Crossfire XR. It's a four by eight table, and I'm super excited. I bought this on the Black Friday sale, and it came with the free plasma torch. Also, if you've seen in the previous videos, we lost our garage and some of our house to a house fire. So we are here in a rental garage, and we're gonna set up the plasma table in here. We already have a cool workbench, and now it's time to set up the plasma table. <clears throat> it's time to set up the plasma table. Oh my God. Now it's time for my minions to help. So let's get started. So also did I mention we have very limited tools. So this might be funny watching us open this. Can I use these? This is all we got. They won't cut through the strapping holding the box. So we're gonna try to pull all the staples and pull the straps off. I wouldn't really say it's damaged, just a little bit of paint rubbed off. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so we looked around for instructions in all the boxes for a while. They don't provide instructions in the boxes. Uh, I believe you have to find it online. So I had to go get my laptop, found it online. So we're gonna have to go back and forth between the laptop and assembly. But yeah. let's get started. So this thing's gonna take us a while, so we're gonna use the power of editing, and we'll come back when it's assembled. And it took quite a while. It was, uh, it was quite the process to put this together. I don't have a whole lot of time to put it together, so it took me about a week or so of you know afternoons and a little bit on the weekend. So I haven't fired it yet. I have done a test run um, without the torch running. I just hooked up my little air compressor. It's nothing special. I lost a big air compressor in the fire too. So this is gonna be the first go. I just uploaded a file that I created in Fusion 360. I need to put a little bit of water in it and let's give this thing a shot. I'm really excited. So this is my first time putting water in it or anything. So I'm a little nervous about it leaking. I mean, I think I sealed it up really well. I don't know. 
it has two drain plugs, one on this end, one on the other end. Uh, we'll see if they leak. I hope they don't. Actually, I'll put a water additive into this uh, to help with rust and hopefully evaporation. I've looked at a few of them. They're all really expensive. If anybody knows of any that are cheap and good, please let me know in the comments below. I've heard coolant or uh, antifreeze works really good. Maybe I'll just start with that. But again, please let me know if you know of any good ones. Okay, so that's all the water I'm going to put in for now. The I'm learning as I put water in, the table is not exactly level. Um, uh, I got quite a bit more water on this side than that side. So I'll adjust that later and then I'll top it off. But it's enough to go for the first run. Let's give this a shot. Pretty cool, huh? Sure. Subscribe. Are you going to subscribe now, Carson? Okay. Yes. For my first run, I think this turned out fantastic. Uh, there's a few adjustments I need to change. I got a little bit of dross on the back, maybe some speed changes. But as time goes on, I'll get all that dialed in. Well, I'm really excited to have this plasma table. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I have a lot of big ideas and a lot of big projects planned. Uh, so if you want to see more of those or you want to see us rebuild our burnt house, we'll leave links in the description below. Please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll catch you on the next one.